If seven thieves steal seven keys, the internet as we know it could come to an end. This could be the last podcast. The seven trusted representatives that the internet protectors, I can, have tasked with keeping the internet safe have been systematically targeted and attacked. I can. They decided they needed to make sure that no one person or country had too much control over the internet. So they made seven keys and chose seven different key holders from seven different parts of the world. This is a real thing. This is a real thing. If the wrong people were to get their hands on those keys, we would be in big trouble. An inevitable tech world dystopian hellscape. But it's kind of the best security system on the planet. I mean, the keys are hemispheres apart. They're trying to collect those keys like Pokemon. And even if you could get them all, the safes those keys open, which are already behind hundreds of layers of security, including guards, retinal scanners, earthquake sensors, would be locked down even tighter. But someone is up to the challenge. From Busan to Nairobi, Dubai, Kitchener, Kinlakyu, Marshall, and El Segundo, criminals from all over the world are trying to shut down the internet. It's the largest heist that has ever happened, and it was perpetrated entirely by completely unqualified idiots. So I did what anyone would do in this situation. I started a podcast. Now, two reporters will use what little connection they have left to figure out what happened, what comes next, who started it, and how to stop them. I have the actual recordings of those crimes. Real-time heists from all over the world. This is big data. It certainly looks as though any reporter covering this story may be in imminent danger. Oh, crap.